Thank you, Dharmendra. I am grateful to Rutul and Dharmendra for giving me that chance. Uh, the postpartum follow up, we believe, depends upon the A, B, C, D of the postpartum care. A stands for assessment, B for breastfeeding, and C for contraception, dietary modification, E for exercise, family involvement, and goals. Uh, I am going to again repeat uh, that SNR A at all told. A diabetic woman should not marry and if married, she should not become pregnant. This was the statement in 1907. In 2023 December, we can claim any diabetic woman with known diabetes or unknown diabetes or GDM, we properly follow advices with the advent of three things. One is the ultrasonography, second is the newer insulin and other is the self monitoring blood glucose. You do not know that when the first machine came for self monitoring, it, this was big size. Now, this is a small size, even you can combine with your uh, mobile. So, it becomes much lesser. With these three things, we can guarantee majority, if not 90 to 95 percent, will have safe delivery if properly following the treatment. Uh, this is briefly about the chart maternal obesity insulin resistance leads to the intrauterine hyperglycemia in the utero placental insufficiency, one glucocortisone in placenta. Any pointer for this one? Any pointer? This is not for the laser one. Uh, no, they are separate for LED. LED is for separate. So, this lead to reactive oxidative pressures, work on the fetal metabolic programming, leads to the alteration in the kidney, alteration in the heart, alteration in the pancreas and obesity of the child. Also similar is development of the type 2 diabetes and similar problems are arising with the mother. So, effect of the hyperglycemia on the fetus, mother hyperglycemia you have all learned, the blood glucose crosses the placenta, stimulates the fetal pancreas. After 11th week, fetal pancreas will stimulate more and more insulin and this will lead to the insulin resistance both in the fetus and the mother. The result is macrosomia, hypoglycemia and also maternal problem. So, these are mainly genetically transmitted. There are gestational diabetes, early life epigenetic man manifestation lead to altered gene expression, physiological function, increased risk of metabolic disease, allergy, neurodevelopment deficit in the child. Since articaria, bronchial asthma are higher, even if the mother is not allergic. So, these are the multiple problems. Briefly, what are the consequences in the fetus? In short term, macrosomia, low Apgar score, shoulder dystocia, brachial plexus injury, birth injury, respiratory distress, neonatal hypo, hyperbilirubinia, neonatal intensive care unit admission higher, perinatal mortality. Long term, obesity, type 1 or type 2, more chances of type 2 cardiometabolic risk and cancers of the breast, colorectal, ovarian cancer. What in the mother? Short term, hypoglycemia, ketoacidosis, retinopathy, nephropathy, hypertension or cardiovascular disease, gastropathy, petum bath, premature rupture of membranes, development of IG2 or type 2. Long term, recurrent GDM, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, vascular dysfunction, non-alcoholic fatty liver, this lipidemia, different manifestations of inflammation, chronic kidney disease, ischemic heart disease, etc. Long term cardiovascular complication in women, 23 women, 12 to 8 years after GDM, 65.2 percent developed over diabetes. Incidence of hypertension, 44.8 percent in the GDM, near 50 percent, 12.9 in the control group. Five women had a stroke, four a myocardial infarction, two were on chronic dialysis. Another study, postpartum rates of mortality, hypertension and dyslipidemia high, very high. More ECG abnormalities in the GDM woman and fivefold more cases of myocardial infarction and angina. This is how everything is occurring. Intrauterine environment altered by glycemia, insulinemia, inflammation, oxidative stress, 3 to 5 percent anatomical malformation in the child, 30 to 40 percent hypothalamic dysfunction leading to obesity. Delayed neurocognitive development. I had a given a lecture on only neurocognitive changes, uh, late learning, then um, I should call it as an epilepsy, then schizophrenia, attention disorder, what cannot happen? These are the multiple studies which have shown development of diabetes and the highest figure was by US and Netsman who showed about 65 percent 
of women followed for 12 to 18 percent will develop ultimately diabetes. Those who had GDM, 33 percent, this is an Indian study by Jindal et al., 33.8 percent developed abnormal OGTT at 6 weeks postmortem very early. 66.1 percent had reverted to normal glucose, IFG in 14.5, IGT in 4.8. Combine IFG, IGT 80 percent, over type 2 diabetes in 6.4 percent, this is a short term 6 weeks follow. Diabetes, pre-diabetes occurred in 20.2 percent women by 1 year. Women with GDM in their parity, one pregnancy have a risk of recurrence approaching 50 percent. One GDM, next pregnancy 50 percent chance of having GDM and 2 to 5 percent risk of progression to chronic diabetes mellitus. The incidence of diabetes and metabolic syndrome was considered higher in the women with previous GDM. GDM women who had developed diabetes had lower gestational insulin area under the curve, larger wasting ratio, skin fold, BMI, lower 30 minute insulin increment, history of diabetes in the first degree. All these findings suggest high diabetes and cardiovascular risk with previous history of GDM. What are the major risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes? This is uh, placed by FIGO 2023. General factors, age, BMI, waist circumference, hypertension, family history of diabetes, and fasting glucose level. Pregnancy related, GDM, use of insulin for GDM, gestational weight gain, short duration of breastfeeding. Breastfeeding should be allowed as much as possible to avoid future pregnancy. How to prevent? Regular follow-up, biochemical monitoring, diet, exercise, smoking, hypertension, lipid abnormality should be checked. Avoidance of further pregnancy very quicker and hormone replacement therapy in menopausal age group, patient education and public awareness. For ethnic groups with a high prevalence of diabetes, blood sugar estimation immediately after delivery after 2 months and every year thereafter. This is the FIGO recommendation. High risk group. Particularly with high fasting plasma glucose should be monitored more frequently till now as per diabetes prevention lifestyle modification is best. In some cases metformin is very useful and may be indicated and in the dipod, tripod study they have used pioglitazone after pregnancy particularly in cases where they had peace polycystic ovary disease. Immunomodulatory treatment in uh, GAT positive patient. One of the important cause of diabetes developing after GDM is the discontinuity of the care. I am very sorry to say even my doctor patient who are teachers in the medical college, they stopped coming after pregnancy. I have warned them this is just starting, you must have your regular blood sugar checkup done. The current idea I will, I will come later on, modest weight loss and physical activity and good lifestyle can prevent. What are the variables of development of future diabetes, diagnostic criteria? If you go for the lowest one, the DPC chances of GDM or diabetes will be less. Degree of glycemia, insulin status, ethnicity, age at diagnosis, diagnosis of GDM at early trimester, post delivery degree of glycemia, multiple pregnancy, feature of insulin resistance, particularly polycystic ovary, acanthosis, negricans, etc. Shorter duration of breastfeeding, family history of DM, genetic predisposition, obesity before or after. What you should do after postprandial maternal care? Just after the delivery, target blood glucose below 8, monitor glucose 4 times per day for 24 hours. If all prependial 4 to 8 millimole, cease monitoring. If less than 4, then you place on the IV fluid glucose if necessary or roller feeding. More than 8, then you go for starting insulin therapy. In the western world, the tight control of diabetes during pregnancy has become procedure. However, ideally this should start from the beginning of the pregnancy, not at the time of diagnosis in pregnancy. We prefer it should be before pregnancy, Piki has discussed so long about the uh, polycystic ovary. In polycystic ovary women are the ideal or before pregnancy when you are coming to the obstetrician should tell you will develop pregnancy, diabetes, so be cautious. It was found that only 30 to 6 percent of women who had diabetes before pregnancy were referred to special clinics before this conception. This is an Western data, non Indian data. What is the current scenario? 2,80,131 individuals had lower rates of primary care and diabetes related. How much? 36 percent only attended the follow up after pregnancy. Another data only 5.8 percent came for the first year. 21.8 percent one year and a three year 
51 percent. This is in British data. In our country, the data is much poorer. What is the pattern of postpartum uh, now in Western country? 12,242 percent pre existing type 2 and 18,432 were st studied. 50.9 percent of individuals with gestational diabetes had primary care. In our country, it is much less, it is less than 20 to 25 percent for postpartum follow up. And factors which those involve behavior of the clinician. I am very sorry to say that in India majority of the clinician have got their own criteria, own guideline and they are conflicting between each other. So, patient is being confused. Process of booking test, continuity of the healthcare, ability to understand diabetes risk, unconcerned about the glucose status. We will have to convince the patient what should be your blood sugar level to come for checkup. Concerned about type 2 diabetes, so want to know what is the fear of type 2 diabetes, discourage screening. Patient do not want to do blood sugar. If I am, di if I am di diagnosed as diabetic, all my foods, all my enjoyments will be cuttled. Logistics of going to and being at the appointment, which just Bhavatarani discussed. Care for their child, adapting to life with the baby, support work. So, these are the family related practice. Patient give more importance on the child than on the mother. This then just published in 2023, having a more significant change in gestational weight, knowledge of the risk of elevated blood sugar, postpartum glucose screening plan and frequent postpartum hospital following prevents development of all the complications. What are the factors enables us, what will help us to have better postpartum, com, uh, best, less postpartum complication, knowledge and belief about consequence for both patient and family members. Family members should be involved. They should be counseled that please take care of the mother in future. Empowerment for self-care with practical guidance, setting goals, behavior regulation. Mohan published one paper and he suggested postal reminders, recall registry, Skype or WhatsApp, telephone, email, short messaging service. These all improve the postpartum improvement. These are the different guidelines for the postpartum follow-up. I am not going to details. I will highlight on our criteria, deep sea. I know there are many people who looks at the America, but is treating a lady of Indian. The environment is Indian. The lady is Indian. The fetus will be Indian. So, please stick to our Indian criteria. Maternal care, just after postpartum, counseling for postpartum family planning. Woman for six weeks postpartum follow-up test, detailed examination of woman before discharge. Newborn, immediately do the blood sugar. I am not going to details because Pradeep Jethwani will discuss in details about the management. Dipsy, subsequent standard guideline 2023, contraceptive plan, screen woman with GDM at 4 to 12 weeks postpartum, found to have pre-diabetes, should receive intensive lifestyle, if develops diabetes, should be treated properly. What about the FIGO others? Immediate newborn care, I am not going to details, I think this will be tackled by Jetwani. And this is about the diagnosis and after postpartum care follow up and I am not going to details. What is the best practice? FIGO has advised 2023 published in November. Identify a woman with GDM who had at high risk of progression to type 2. What are the high risk? Patients with multiple pregnancies, strong families, T, obesity, markers of clinical evidence, lack of breastfeeding. A RD diagnosis, a multiple pregnancy, etc, etc, etc. Hyperglycemia diagnosed in the first trimester, degree of glucose intolerance, recurrent GDM, all this should be taken care of. And they advise also go for the two hour postprandial blood sugar. And EDA 2024, I think you know that this is published at three or four days back. The postpartum advice, insulin resistance decreases dramatically immediately postpartum. Insulin requirements need to be evaluated. Usually GDM do not require insulin, pre-GDM may require insulin. A contraceptive plan, skin individual with recent history of GDM at 4 to 12 weeks using the 75 gram oral glucose tens and clinically non-pregnant diabetic criteria. Overweight obesity and history of GDM found to have pre-diabetes should receive intensive lifestyle intervention and or prevent diabetes. Breastfeeding should be started immediately. I am very sorry to say that after caesarean section, or if there be any problem with the child, the child is kept in the NICU, the mother is not allowed for breastfeeding 3 to 5 days and the breast milk stops. Even in the NICU, you can go for expressing the breast milk. It should be started as early as possible and continue as far as practical. Individual with a history of GDM, 
should seek preconception screening for diabetes and preconception care to identify and treat. When a GDM mother is coming, try to try to ask her not to go for early pregnancy, not within three years. And if you, you must have blood sugar and blood pressure done, checked, and then what is the prevention mantra of DFC? This is after Samiji. I think you can tell who is the Samiji. And the mantra is screening for all pregnant women in three trimester. DFC guideline two hour after 75 gram glucose regardless of meal. If it is more than 139, 140 is GDM, 140 to 199 GDM. More than 199 pre-gestational diabetes not detected. Ideally detect and treat diabetes before planning pregnancy. Follow up all the cases live long. Can you tell anyone who is that Samiji? This is our Viraj Sami Sesaya sir. This is my mantra which I have started preaching after sir. The mantra is this is for prevention conclusion. Among women with GDM screening during the postpartum period offers a window of opportunity for early identification of diabetes and pre-diabetes. Whenever the mother comes with GDM, tell her this is for your lifetime. 70 percent will have hyperglycemia within 20 weeks. Although rates of screening have increased during the past several decades, these rates are still not optimal and need to increase given the type 2 diabetes epidemic faced by both developed and developing nation. Increasing rates of screening may be challenging. Different players, health care providers, public health workers need to be involved. I want help from the gynecologist. I am very happy for the last fight and that uh, movement revolution done by the DPC for the last 20 years. Gynecologists are all coming forward, problem with the physicians and the endocrinologists. I will request all the obstetricians. The moment a lady comes with polycystic ovary, tell them what should be the problem in during pregnancy. There should be pre-pregnancy counseling. If a patient goes for drainage of an abscess, he does a blood sugar. Before pregnancy, 90 percent is unplanned, becomes suddenly pregnant and after two months they goes to the doctor when all the problems has done. GDM reminder system targeting the patient doctor both using email, letter, text, phone call and or EMR is very useful and at least lifestyle modification is very helpful. Keep it in mind. GDM is not the end, but beginning of the story of agony and misery. And my suggestion, it is we who can shorten or lengthen the pages of the agony. And I am grateful to them who taught me GDM. They are all laughing with sweet, uh, sweet children. I say if you follow guideline, treat properly, every my woman can have a very beautiful child. And thanks to you for making my all the books have, uh, successful. This is my 10th. I published 12, uh, 2012. That means 2012, the pregnancy and diabetes still it is running. And this is a nephrodiabetes. Thanks to you for making my all the books. Thank you.